one step at a time. This is how we can achieve any goal we set our mind to, according to Stephen Dunier. Through small changes in the decisions we make and our small changes in our lifestyle, we can produce big changes in the long run. This idea he proposes in his talk has evidently proved to be very effective in helping him achieve his goals. Not surprisingly, this idea, this method of decision making, has existed for years under many different names. Kaizen is a Japanese term, a business philosophy that has existed since the 80s and was first introduced by Masaki Imai in his book of the same name. The term Kaizen means change for the better or continuous improvement. Although it was originally developed for improved efficiency in a business and production environment, the core idea behind it is this, making minor but continuous changes or improvements to produce significant changes for the better. This clearly worked as the company Toyota grew rapidly in the 20th century while implementing this philosophy. So one might wonder, why does this work? Is there any scientific reason behind it? Yes, in fact, there are multiple theories and models based around this method of decision-making in the field of cognitive science. A fairly well-known one is the trans-theoretical model. It is a theory of therapy and while its focus is to help people adopt healthier lifestyles, it has proven to be very effective, and part of the approach is the same. The fourth stage of the six-stage model involves making small specific changes to behavior or lifestyle in order to work towards adopting healthier behaviors. As for the why of it, Amabile and Cromer's progress theory states that small wins can enhance motivation and this has been shown to be true through research. Now, this does bring us to a point that Stephen Dunier did not address in his talk, the problem of motivation. Being a student, I can attest that this is one of the largest obstacles when tackling big goals, other than the ability to focus and the magnitude of the goal, is finding motivation. Although he did not address the difficulty of staying motivated, Amabile and Cromer's progress theory shows that the method Stephen Dunier proposes does in fact have positive effects on motivation as well. Now, given all the research and data backing this up, it should come as no surprise that I too believe this is one of the best and most effective mindsets to have to help achieve your goals. I first came across this idea of microproductivity in James Clear's book, Atomic Habits. And I can attest that this mindset has helped me, someone who finds it very difficult to focus and find motivation to complete even small tasks, to be more productive and not feel as stressed or burdened while doing so. As James Clear says in his book, habits are the compound interest of self-improvement, which essentially means that these small routine changes that we make and develop as habits compound and produce exponential results. Thinking of big goals as a series of small tasks makes them seem less intimidating and unattainable, which plays a big role in how motivated we are to work towards a goal. And it can help us plan out the journey to achieving our goals. Planning is an essential and integral part of achieving any goal. And through breaking work up into small chunks, we can do exactly that while making the process so much easier for ourselves. Thank you.